Wednesday night is upon us, but there's nothing to worry about because it means we got four games for you on tap. My name is Andrea Sachinka and this is your Daily KHL Update. We go to Magnitogers for the first of four games between Metalurg and Boris this season. The Versus get on the board rather quickly as Jesse Blacker scores his first of the year just three minutes in. Right backhand shot by the former league prospect. Magnitka tied up with an absolute beauty in the second period. Vegas Golden Knights third round peak final Zerafe puts on a clinic in the offensive end, beats four opponents on his way to the net and slides it past that Pasquale. That was dirty. Meter through the period, Grigori Drona plays it to the right wing to Alexei Periglazov who puts it to the slot, it bounces back to his cheek and Pasquale has to pull off a huge bad save to keep it a tie game. Moving on to the third, Barisa on a power play, Darren Dietz winds up and fires it from the blue line, he's getting Tinkin in front and Nikita Mihailovic puts it home. That's Mihailovic's his third of the season and Baris go up 2-1. And they had a security goal to their lead just a minute later. Roman Starchiko wheels into the zone on a partial lot, man rush, toe drag, and a snipe! It touches Corbin Knight ever so slightly on its way, and it's Knight who's credited with his force of the year. Goaltender at Pasquale draws his first career KHL assist on the play, and that's all they gotta need. Baris hands out struggling Magnitka their eighth loss in ten games as they take it 3-1 on the road. We travel to the region's capital now. This is Chelyabinsk and we're here to watch Trotkir face Akbars. Men in Black are yet to win a game at home ice this season. Spoiler alert, this one is an open and shot case pretty much. Patrice Cormier puts Akbars in the lead just out of 5 minutes in off a nice setup by Justin Azevedo. Less than 2 minutes later, Christian Hanko takes a quick shot off the half wall and engulfs it of Mikhail Glukov. That's his first of the year. Rakta swap of Amphidota for Vasily Demchenko in goal, but 16 seconds later, former Islanders prospect Kirill Thatcher finds the back of the net. 3 0 to Nagbars now. And it doesn't get any better for the home side. Midway through the period, Slava Snobin further improves the lead as he scores on his former team. Five minutes into the second now, Matt Frieden plays it to the point for Andre Pidan and he wires it in as well. Akbars can score with a basketball on this one, it seems. Four minutes later, five-time Gagarin Cup champion and another Chilibans native, Denis Zaripov scores his second of the year off a nice turn. Truck to just have one of those rotten nights when nothing goes right for them and they fall to Akbar 6-0 on home ice. Helsinki, Finland is our next stop. Joker take on the Reading champions Red Army. Moscow lost just nine games last regular season and one of them was at this very ring just before Christmas. But tonight the red and blue dominate. Two minutes into the game, Kirill Kapuriza free directs it between the pads of Antiniemi for a sixth of the year. Later in the period, Konstantina Kulov scores on a power play. Good movement in the offensive zone by number 71 as he buries his own rebound. The Jester slashed that 2 0 lead in half early in the second period. They win a face off. Alex Grant shoots from the point, it's blocked, and Steve Moses sends it just under the bar past the US Rocket. Moses almost levels it a few moments later as he dangles his way to the net but puts the puck wide from the hash marks. And it's all Red Army after that. Alexei Marchenko drops down low, gets the puck from Anton Slepashev and cashes in. Quite a few feet on that delivery by former Oiler. They improve the lead to 4-1, two minutes into the third period. Slepashev gets his second assist of the game as Pavel Kornaukov gets his initial goal of the year. Red Army put a chair on top three minutes later. Sergei Talchinsky races to the net, his shot is tough, but Linden Vey tucks it home on the rebound. Antony Yemi has another tough night in golf for Yaku Red and Red Army win 5-1 in Helsinki. Our journey ends in Yaroslavl, where Dynamo Riga challenged Lokomotiv. This is the first game for the home team after firing Craig McTavish. Alexander Ardashev is making his KHL debut as the interim coach. We pick it up midway through the first. Lowry's Darzik has the puck and all the moves at the left wing tries to sneak it in on the short side, but Ilikan Avalov makes himself look big. Loco get on the board late in the period. 
On the Costa sets up Dennis Alexei for a shot. He slings it. Christian Gudlowski gives up a rebound, and Jets prospect Pavel Kraskowski scores his first of the season. They double their lead nine minutes into the second. Nikolai Kovalenko takes a hit to make a play. Artem Ilyenko's shot is stopped, but he keeps the play alive and sets up Hansim Osipov for a laser beam of a shot just under the bar. Yaroslav will almost make it a 3-0 hockey game as Arda Kanyulov skates in on Gudlevskis, but Latvian Nafmata stops it with his toe. Loco get another one past him in the dying seconds of the period, though. Nikolai Kovalenko finishes off the frantic play and this one is essentially over. Lokomotive makes sure of that with a power play marker five minutes into the third. The Costa scores his third of the year while Alexey approaches his second apple of the night. He goes in up a defenseman. Yelika Navalov stops 19 shots for his first shutout of the year and Dynamo Riga stay at the bottom of the West. Lokomotive win 4 0 with a new man at the helm. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for six more games, including Amor Admiral and SKA St. Petersburg vs. Salamaki Live. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.